In today's video, I'm going to talk about the early days of behavioral therapy, a study known as Little Albert, and what that has to do with creating fears and phobias. Hi, I'm Christopher Paul Jones, the Breakthrough Expert. So I've talked about the behavioural experiments of Ivan Pavlov and his dogs before. And if you don't know what that is, you can have a look in some of the other videos. But moving on from that, there was a guy called John Watson. And what he did was a study which by today's standard is completely unethical, but it did teach us a lot about human behaviour and how phobias and fears can be triggered. So what they did, they took a small baby, his name was Little Albert, they showed him a series of different things. They would show him a pet rat, and a pet dog, and a rabbit. And the baby smiled and reacted without fear. And then what they did, they again showed him this pet rat, and he went to stroke it. And as he did, they banged a metal bar very loudly. So he gets the thought to stroke, <sighs> shock. Oh, okay, gets the thought to stroke, and they do it again. And they do this a few times. And eventually, of course, what happens? He gets the thought to stroke, and then he's overwhelmed with shock and fear and starts crying. He became scared of just being near this pet rat. And then when they brought the other animals back in, they had a bunny and a dog and all those other things. Whenever he was in that situation, he was shown them and he'd have that same fear response. Now, they took a break and then a few weeks later, they did the test again without the bar. He's brought him in, brought the animals in, and again, the child would go into shock. Now, what that taught us, the first step, is that that's how easy it is to get a phobia. You have enough pain, shock, fear to something, and it can, you can go from loving it to hating it. But the second thing it taught us was that actually the brain can also associate danger to the wrong stimulus. So he's seeing that rat, he's getting shocked. He feels the fear and he thinks it's the rat. It's not rather than the thing behind him, rather than the metal bar. And sometimes we do this if we're in an anxious state, for example, in a highly anxious state, in a high state of stress, and we're looking at something, high state of stress, looking at something, that can create the phobia, that can create the trigger, even though that thing is benign. And this is how people can get phobias of all sorts of strange things. So for example, with a small child, maybe a small child can slip, hit his head, and as he recovers, he looks up and he sees the grass on the ground. Now, if that fear, that pain was strong enough, it may be that that child associated, didn't know what the pain was, didn't know it's from falling, and just went, see grass, feel pain. So maybe that would be enough to create a phobia of grass. And then he could come back to me 20 years later, still having that fear, because when it's gone in deep into the unconscious, unless that trigger has changed, the person can keep running that fear. What they did, with little Albert, the thought to pat them, he got the fear, whether it was a dog, whether it was a rabbit, whether it was anything else. That location, that action had become associated to fears. Now this is when the mind generalizes. And this is why when people come to me with fear of relationship, with fear of commitment, it may well be I had one bad relationship, therefore all relationships will be bad. Now again, this is how the human mind learns. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, i.e. if you put your hand on a stove and it's painful, you want to know to not touch a stove again in future. It's incredibly useful for learning and survival. However, when we've wrongly associated fear or danger to something, and then we generalize it out, it can be very limiting. What little Albert did is teach us all how easy it was to be create phobias and fears, and that most fears we're not born with, we learn. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I'm Christopher Paul Jones. Get out.